What's up guys? Nope is directed by Jordan Peele. This is his third film as being a director and it is basically a mystery film. We are joined by Kiki Palmer that I forgot what her character name is and Daniel Kalulu, Kalula who played in um, Black Panther and Get Out. We're joined by him who's the brother and basically how it is is that they run a Hollywood horse business and some things happen on their ranch that is un describable. Guys, I had Nope as one of my most anticipated films of 2022. I went to go see it last night, but let's get into the things that I really enjoyed about Nope. The visuals in this film were fucking beautiful. I cannot say that, I can't stress that enough. These night sequences that Jordan Peele shot, I've never seen night sequences shot this great. They were fucking beautiful. They were fucking beautiful. Um, and the acting by Daniel Kalula and the supporting cast and Kiki Palmer was a standout. They, these act, they're good. They really are. And I was so glad to see that they did what they could with what they did. Um, even though Daniel Kalula played the more recluse type of uh, character this time around, didn't seem like he wanted to be there, but whatever. Besides that, some of the action set pieces looked really good. Like I said, this set, the sets looked really great. They really did. And the score I really enjoyed a lot. Um, and there's some suspense throughout this whole film. Definitely in the middle spot where um, it's the peak of the film, I would say, for the most part. There's this big UFO sequence that I really enjoyed a lot. And it's all Jordan Peele written all over it. But guys, with that being said, this film is not good. It is fucking horrible. I'll probably be one of the first people to say this, but... Um, I really enjoyed Us. Some people don't enjoy Us. I don't understand why, but I really love Get Out and Us. Those films are incredible in my mind. Going into this, I had high expectations and they were not met whatsoever. Guys, first thing, let's talk about the runtime. The runtime of this film is two hours and 13 minutes. It did not need to be this fucking long. I remember sitting in the film and I sat down, I'm like, okay, it's gonna be a slow burner and it's gonna get going and then we hit a peak mark, right? And spoilers if you were wondering, um, but at the peak mark, it was with this UFO, it's all night sequence and it was fucking badass. I really enjoyed that sequence a lot. But then it just dragged right down, and I could not believe what I was watching. By the way, it's not really a UFO. It has nothing to do with aliens either. It's more of a living creature up in the sky that is not really well, ex well explained. And when you watch the film, you think about it after, and you're like, that was pretty fucking stupid. That's my opinion. Also, I really want to say that <sighs> this film could have benefited from a lot more story this is where the one of the this is the film that really lacks in its story and that's my problem with the whole film is there's nothing interesting about it yes you see this ufo up in the clouds and that you want to know and that's where i say the peak level which was the first half fucking boring but there's that little sliver that was the peak and i'm like okay cool we're gonna go we're gonna keep going from now on it's gonna we're gonna have a lot of action we're gonna have suspense we're gonna have thriller and in my opinion i didn't get that out of this film and there's a stupid subplot with this chick chimpanzee that kills some people or tries to kill people and goes berserk mode on a talk show and I thought that was going to tie into the actual plot but it really doesn't at all I kind of understood what they're trying to build some backstory for this one other side character that runs this kind of like um, ranch for the most part I don't know I um, that part really just had nothing to fucking do with the film it could have been chopped right out of it and maybe made the film flow a little bit better but really there's nothing unique in this film I was expecting like an alien UFO type vibe film but there was nothing like that and it was a living creature up in the sky the whole time that sucks up people instead of probing them and um, basically you know, and if it works for you guys, that's good for you. It did not work for me whatsoever. And then the ending of the film, this thing turns into this big fucking balloon. This UFO turns into a balloon and dies by a balloon. But they capture the picture. And there's also a subplot with this kind of producer guy who ends up killing himself after. Like, oh, you just got the footage, but oh, never mind. I want to go kill myself up on the fucking mountain. I'm sorry. Nope for me is nope. It literally is all over the place. I'm thinking about everything right here and all my notes. And it's just, I was very disappointed with the film i had this as one of my most anticipated films and this doesn't every director has a fault movie and jordan peele this doesn't make me think differently about him it, it, it doesn't um but for me nope was the first jordan peele film that did not work for me at all guys with all the pros that i said about this film and that peak sequence that was actually really cool to watch i'm going to give nope 
a four out of 10. I could not believe still what I watched. I was very disappointed with the lack of suspense and thriller for me as a as an audience member and if you guys liked it you liked it i just was hoping a little bit more but guys if you've seen no let me know your thoughts below thanks for watching subscribe for more and i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys